here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. Alongside Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And on the sidelines, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Let's see the stat sheet here for Norman Powell. And his three-point shooting has gotten a lot better over his last 10 games. He looks so much more comfortable from beyond. There's no doubt he's got the green light to let it fly whenever the shot's there for him. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. They've got Ivica Zubac. Powell is out there with Harden. Then there's Batum, and it's Jones in at the three. And for the 76ers, George is out there with Caleb Martin. Then it's Joel Embiid. Then there's Kelly Oubre. And it's Maxi in at the point guard. And this late in the season, Greg, you consider rookies to even be rookies anymore. They played so many games at this point. I mean, listen, though. Uh... They aren't as green as they were to start the season, but rookies still need a full year to fully kind of learn what it takes day in and day out. To the inside, there's MB. Oh, and the jam by MB. Secret that Embiid enjoys the spotlight when he gets a chance to show off some, he seizes it. Now here's Harden, passes it to Pop. Here's Zubac, and he gets the he basket. Officials foul. blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. It works well there. First Not much foul. resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. While the Sixers have been a factor, time and again, they've been unable to get past the conference semifinals. Where they bowed out in five of the last six years, but you go back, they haven't made it any further since Allen Iverson led them to the finals back at 01. Now, here is Martin. That's three pointers off the mark. Here's Harden. To the middle, stolen by Martin. Bray against Powell. Wasted no time on that one. You know, that's the lefty stroke of Oubre, right? He can hit from mid-range right on out to deep three-point range. Powell against Oubre. Harden outside for the three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to Sacramento. Scoring efficiency was an issue in that one. It took them too many shots to get their points. I think there was a lot of bad decisions leading to a lot of poor looks. Patience was not their best quality in that basketball game. And here's Harden after the three-pointer from Kelly Uber. 
Harden looking it over. Pocket six. Zubac with the screen for Harden. And again, no good by the Clippers. 76ers have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Outside, George. Embiid with the screen on Jones. The shot by George, wide open. No good on the triple. LA's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Powell, no one around him. Off target from three point range. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. The pass to Maxi. Takes the three, hits the three point bomb. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Looking at Los Angeles, they want to turn it around for the Washington, Indiana. So, timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. points a game four rebounds and three assists I mean the numbers aren't bad on their own but but he knows that he can help this team in a bigger way and sometimes it comes down to the flow of the offense one night it's your night another night perhaps it's somebody else's first quarter of basketball just over two and a half minutes play Powell against Oubre. The shot by Powell, no good. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one fall. Traps in the tray. Maxie's got six. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit for approaching this game with the right energy and intensity. This team has attacked every chance they've gotten. And the dunk by Powell. The leaping ability of Norman Powell. Throw it down, sir. Maxi passes to Embiid. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. It's hauled in by Zubats. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. Ball stolen. Pass to Uber on the left block. Misses off the right iron. Los Angeles trails by eight. Outside, Jones. And he uses the glass yeah, on the way. Did a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Maxi with it. His last outing, 16 points for him. And there's the feed to Oubre. Shot clock at six. Here's Embiid. And then he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Embiid's got his second bucket of the game to go. Jones sets the pick for Powell. Nice open look, but it's no good. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. To the wing on the left. Back to Maxi. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Feated by the Pacers in the last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. Well, I, I felt like they were never on the same page defensively in that one. Gave up way too many easy shots. You cannot allow your opponent to shoot that high a percentage. That is going to get you beat night after night. Second team foul. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And up to this point on the season, he set a pace of right around 73% when he gets to the line. The 76ers making a switch here. Drummond's checked in. That one misses for Jones. And so George will bring it up for Philadelphia. Six-point game. And you look at Paul George, Doris. He really fits any system you can think of. Now, Kevin, that's about two things, the skill set and the mindset. If you need him to take over, he can change and get that line. 
try to think in his mind. You want him to play a secondary role? He can adjust there mentally as well. So you give this guy an opportunity, and Norman Powell doesn't need a lot of encouragement. The defense a little late there, so he'll go to the charity strike. This is his first free throw of the game. This season, 88% on the line, so he has been in a comfort zone. A free throw drops for Powell. Well, one thing there's no question about is that Norman Powell is a gifted athlete. Now it's about rounding out that game, particularly his shooting. And so Powell nails both of them. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. Now Maxie. He has six. Drummond with a screen on Hart. Fires from the line. And it's Drummond with the jam. Andre Drummond understands if I can get to the offensive window, I can put points on the board. Harden outside. Over Maxi. Los Angeles with another miss. Boy, a clean, close look. What a missed opportunity. Martin kicks to Maxi. George looking around. Let's the three fly. The shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. It can't leave any room for Paul George outside. He will deliver from deep. As to Zubats. They get a hand on it. And good that time. Zubats has got his second bucket tonight. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Maxi finds George. Oubre on the wing. Shoots over Powell, and the 76ers tack on two more. Los Angeles trails by nine. Harden outside. It's Drummond with the rebound. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Pass to Martin. Now, here's Maxi. Now the pass to George. Six on the shot clock. From downtown. Powell pulls it in. For Los Angeles, they've gone 5 of 12 from the field since the opening tip. Jones, the pass to Zubats. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Zubats has got his third basket of the night. So strong, so tough. He beats the Zubats, absorbs the contact, and goes right through it. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. And the 76ers with some changes. Gordon comes in for George. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Kelly Oubre. The Clippers also making some changes. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Batum. Mann comes in for Derek Jones. And Porter subbed in for James Harden. Now, here's Maxi. He's got six. Bangs home the trifecta. Maxi's got nine points. Crushing it right now. They've done an excellent job of spacing the floor. And what surprises me is the defense hasn't done anything to take away that three-point shot. That has been their preferred weapon tonight. Here the three-point line. It's Porter. Almost, but it rolls out. They hold the early advantage on the glass. And Martin now top of the key. Powell against Maxi. Stolen by Zubac. And here is Powell. 23 points for him the last game against Indiana. Zubats kicks to Porter. He's now one for two with that bucket. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. 
The 76ers leading by eight. Pass to Drummond. Back to Maxi. The three. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got four rebounds now tonight. Pass to Powell. Back to Porter. He dishes it to Powell. Clock at four. Unloads. Porter, no luck. Well, this is how you shut him down. A tremendous contest against a very skilled player. Here's Maxi. The 76ers again can't hit it. Drummond passes to Maxi. Beyond the arc. Good. Score the basket. Mark him four for eight. Shooting 50% so far. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Yeah, you, you hate to give up a foul on a three-point attempt. That's his first personal foul. Los Angeles, they have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. And I think this is a strength of this team. Solid numbers at the line across the board, 77% collectively. Free throw drops for Powell. And he can't hit the second. Nails the third. And that concludes the first quarter of play. 76ers ahead. They're up by nine. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. with us folks second quarter of basketball this game has not exactly been neck and neck but plenty of time left in this one and a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the 76ers uh, they look to fire as much as possible from outside the arc and so far they are hitting at a high clip you know also they've been incredible on the fast break taking those chances playing with great pace and so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Clippers. They trail by nine points. Taking a look at Los Angeles. They've got P.J. Tucker, Harden out there with Kevin Porter. And there's Mohamed Bamba. And it's Mann in at the small forward spot. Good to see Porter Jr. knocking down the triple. Needs to keep taking and making those shots. The shot by George, no good. Los Angeles trails by six. Passes it to Porter. Back to Harden. And we see players sometimes, Greg, after a change of venue, they, they change teams, certainly taking the next step. What can key that lead? Kevin, it's not all just... Oh! Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting from the field, 44%, not bad. Harden the pass to Bamba. And a miss there on the triple. You know what, though, sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. George sets a screen for Lowry. 
Rebounded by Tucker. Los Angeles trails by eight. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for James Harden. And maybe it's shocking, maybe, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. Brown is checked in for P.J. Tucker. Drummond with a screen on Porter. Gordon for three, trains the three-pointer. Gordon's got the lead up to 11 now for the 76ers. And so many of Gordon's shots come from three-point range because he drains so many of them. When, when you've had his kind of success from beyond the arc, you're always going to have the green light. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Paul George is one of the game's premier two-way wings. He says, I believe in my talent and what I can do, but I feel my job is to make everybody better. That's what I try to do when I'm on the floor. Just make the game easy for everybody. Whether it's creating or just being aggressive and making reads off of that. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, David lets the game come to him. Well said by him. Thank you. Harden outside. And there's the pass to Porter. Inside. Here's Pamba. And the dunk by Pamba. Well, you see the fluidity in the screen and roll game. Mo Bamba, decisive in his movements, is what allows him to convert. Lowry against Harden. Here's Martin, and finished off by Martin. I'll tell you, that vertical ability he has puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. May not have great size, but boy, he plays bigger than it. Pass to man. Brown with a screen on George. Man passes to Brown. And Brown throws it down. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. And they pick up two. George has got five now. You can see there's complete trust in Paul George in pick and rolls. Fantastic at taking advantage of the defense and the separation they give him. Harden the pass to man. Porter looking it over. Six to shoot to the paint. And stolen by Drummond. Gordon up on top. Guarded by Porter. Gordon kicks to Lowry. Here's Drummond. Basket counts. And now a 12-point 76ers lead. Boy, what a physical play from Andre Drummond. Shrugs off the contact and gets the bucket. Bamba setting the pick for Porter. And a hand Los Angeles with the triple. Yeah, field goal percentage above 50 now. Their offense is starting to show. Lowry passes to George. Martin with a screen for George. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, Paul George is a difficult defensive assignment precisely for this reason. He's going to force you into contact. The 76ers shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. First free throw is good. Well, you have to respect the career of Paul George. Uh, he has faced, at one point, a career-ending injury. He keeps battling to get back on the floor through constant injury. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. Joel Embiid is checked in for Andre Drummond. Oubre comes in for Martin. And Maxi subbed in for Gordon. Offside Jones. Five to shoot. And the jam by Harden. Just good heads-up play by Batum. Spots the open man, but delivers it on time and on target. Harden against Lowry. Pass to Maxi. Three-pointer. Rebound by the Clippers. Zubats has got his fifth rebound in this one. Down low. 
and Batum gets Nick it to go on the two. assist by Joe. Wow, what soft touch from Nick Batum. This guy has no trouble finishing in the painted area. Outside, George. And Bede with a screen on Batum. George. The 76ers again can't hit it. This shot's just, it's not there right now with this team leading perhaps. You know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. To the paint. Zubac finds Batum. Harden against Lowry. Harden gets the bucket. Yeah, James Harden has made a living out of tough shot making. And I'll tell you, the defense pretty good right there. James Harden just better. Outside, Maxi. High post and B. Working on Zubac. Back to Maxi. Embiid sets the pick for Maxi. Over quarter. It's good. Nice touch there from Maxi. Maxi's got 14. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Harden outside. Here's Zubac. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Maxi against Porter. Embiid with a screen on Porter. Passes it to Lowry. Embiid is at the elbow. Oh, Embiid too tough inside. So tough to knock Embiid off the block. And that's his territory. And the Clippers call time here. Time out away, team. And Philadelphia making a change here. Martin's checked in. And the Clippers with a change here, too. Norman Powell's checked in for James Harden. Points in the game. Zubats a screen on Maxi. Porter kicks to Powell. Just five on the clock. Back to Porter from deep. Here's Zubats. They shoot again, and that's two points on the way. Zubats has got nine points. You love to see Zubats get after it on the window. Use that size and strength. Here's the pass to Embiid. This is to Oubre. Embiid against Zuba. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. And doing a really solid job getting that ball inside. Much more of a physical presence here in the second. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Los Angeles making a switch here. Harden's checked in. What's up? At the line for Philadelphia, Joel Embiid. One shot. The free throw drops for Embiid. Better than most centers from the line. Embiid exceptional with his hand. Pass to Pop. Back to Harden. No good on that one. Some solid defense for Maxi. And slam dunk by Maxi. And he just dangles from the bucket after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. He lobs it up. Oh, and the dunk by Jones. Well, it's Harden continuing to evolve as a playmaker. This guy, including his teammates, making them feel good. Embiid with a screen on Harden. No one near Maxi as he lets it fly. Misses the three. Platoon passes to Harden. 
Here's Powell. Six points for him. Rebound by the 76ers. And Beach got four rebounds now tonight. Maxi looking it over. Jones against Martin. In the corner, it's Oubre. Shoots over Powell. Batum grabs the miss. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from. If you want to command the defender's respect. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Harden's Harden. shot is good. Well, a tough first quarter for this guy. You like to see the shot go in. Nicely done. Here's Maxi. That one goes in. Maxi's got six points in the quarter. Well, we know he's got a lot of tools in the toolbox, but the finger roll might be the speedest of them all. Owl for three. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. That's, a, that's nice defense right there by Oubre. With that 7-2 wingspan, he can swallow up space quick. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers going into the break with a 10-point lead. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Andre, big first half, a lot of energy. What are you guys doing differently tonight? Well, the active fans on the defensive end it really got us all hyped up. And, you know, uh, it translates to the offensive end as well, too. So, you know, we're looking real good right now. We just got to put it together in the second half, too. Transition really working well for you in the first half, Andre. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome. A clinic in execution so far as it's been a dominant showing for the Philadelphia 76ers. Well, they did damage from behind the arc in the first half, hitting those three-point bombs. Took some life out of their opponent. We'll see if they can stay hot in the second half. Close this thing out. The law of averages might suggest otherwise, but we're talking about some great shooters. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, social media posts. Okay, we have one for everyone from Stale Chips for Life. They ask, if you played in the league today, how many threes would you be taking a game? Ooh, I was taking like less than three a game in my prime, I don't think so. You could double that number today, plus four. I'd probably get about ten. I take zero. It's more fun dunking on somebody's head. Solid answer, big fella. Also, I doubt any coach would want you shooting outside of five feet. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. Played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. You look at Tyrese Maxey in this one, guys. He has been everywhere. And if he can keep shooting from deep like he did in the first half, he's going to be more than a handful. What I love is they've continued to feed this guy. Ride the hot hand until the defense does something about it. We've got Oubre. George is out there with Caleb Martin. Then there's Maxey. And it's Embiid in at the five down low. That's Nick versus five as we get into the second half. Fires, high post, count it. And the 76ers lead has been cut down to eight on the bucket from James Harden. And it's Maxi with the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Here's Embiid and the rejection by Zubats. How about Zubats? Works so hard on the defensive end. Nicely done. Oubre kicks to Embiid. Shoots over Zubac. And Embiid, the bucket on the assist by Oubre. Oubre has got three assists in the game. Powell against Oubre. Pass to Harden. 
for Maxi. Some solid defense for Maxi. And the way he was able to reach out towards that release had an impact. Well, no question. He altered that shot. And most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. Embiid sets the pick for Martin. Inside, deflects the pass. Stolen by Zubac. Howell inside, covered by Martin. To the middle, here's Harden. And the rejection by Embiid. And how about the anticipation from the big fella? Embiid is one of the league's premier shot blockers. Martin kicks to Maxi. To the inside. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance Norman to pick Powell. up the points at the line. It's going to go on Norman Powell. First team. Yeah, good job to take it right at the D. At the this is his second trip to the line in this one. Joel one of the areas Ooh. where he has excelled Two all shots. season long. How about 87% from the line? The first one falls. Good on both. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. Zubats a screen on Maxi. Harden gets the bucket. You see, in pick and roll action, this is where the intellect, the feel, the craftiness, the mastery of James Harden is all on display. Maxi passes to Embiid. Trying to free himself up. That's no basket. His third miss in eight tries. Powell finds Harden. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Harden's got it back down within single digits for the Clippers. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Passes to Martin. The pass to Embiid. Shot clock at six. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. 76ers have not yet missed a free throw. Five for five. Personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your Sixers, Joel Embiid. One shot. The free throw drops for MB. Los Angeles trails by 11. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Here's Zubats. Back to Powell. Six on the shot clock. And here's Harden for three. Sinks the triple. Harden's got 15. Now, the mechanics of James Harden's shooting are just so defined and on point. He gets the ball, and he's ready to shoot right away. Timeout called the 76ers. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. With 10 games left, let's see how the playoff race is shaping up out west. You look at the Clippers. It hasn't been a great season for them. We may see some changes in the offseason. 
Yeah, and I think the Clippers, they've been shockingly ineffective this season. I don't know if anyone thought they'd have this much of a struggle, but the chemistry's been horrible. You hit it on the head. And they have a bunch of individual pieces that simply don't fit together, and it's led to a hugely disappointing season. Outside, George. Outside, Mark. Outside, George. And beat inside. Working on Zubats. And beat, no good. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. Here's Paul. A putback. He hangs in there and there cashes in on the team. second chance points. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Maxi passes to Embiid. Slides through for his seventh basket in 11 tries. Domination, plain and simple. Embiid isn't holding back and is giving the defense all he's got. And the Clippers call time here. in for the 76ers. And with the break in the action, here is the 2K leaderboard showing us this month's top passers. Fourth, James Harden. Really been in sync with his teammates over that period. I mean, his passing has been phenomenal. Jones dishes to Batum. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. This guy's so clever at getting defenders to fight. Nicholas Batum draws the contact. Nicholas Batum. Two shots. Take break. Take break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. One of the things I admire most about Nick Patum is how consistently he gives effort through 48 minutes. Plays with his head in the game and giving his all-out effort every play. Both free throws good from Batum. And it's the 76ers with the ball. They've held a 12-point lead early. They can look forward to the Cavaliers after this game in a matchup against Cleveland. That'll be the first half of a two-game trip. MB, no good. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it, because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate. The Wiley veteran Batum is so good at positioning himself to get the shot, the foul, or both. Two shots. Take break. Take break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Free throws good from Batum. The 76ers leading by four. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. 
David. Thank you, Kevin. For the Sixers, it's championship or bust. Joel Embiid said there's nothing to be happy about just getting to the conference finals or the finals. You gotta win the whole thing. That's the goal. And every single day, it's just trying to find ways to make that happen. Back to you. Yep, all or nothing. David, thank you. It's Powell on the wing, covered by Martin. Green by Zubac. Harden, no good. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. George with the ball. And Batum picks him up defensively. Zubac against Embiid. And with the pause in the action, let's look at the numbers. He for Zubac. Fifth in field goal percentage. And he's an elite glass eater. A factor inside among the top ten in rebounds per game. And yeah, he's such an efficient scorer. Understands the offense. Moves without the ball so well. That's why he's top five in field goal percentage. And the first one drops. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Porter's checked in for Los Angeles. And MB drops them both. You know, seeing an uptick in his trips to the free throw line, really, since we came out of the half. Powell with it. Six points for him. It's good from long range. Howell's got nine. Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. Pass to Martin. Outside Lowry. Just five to shoot. And Bede sets the pick for Oubre. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Ten points for him. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Powell for three. And it's Lowry with the rebound. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. They've held a 12-point lead early. Oubre against Powell. Here's Embiid over Jones. Embiid no good. Los Angeles trails by six. With the teardrop. Rebound by Joel Embiid. Embiid's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Martin finds Lowry. Back to Martin. 4-3. Oubre. Rebound by the Clippers. Here we are looking at Kelly Oubre Jr. He's capable, Doris, of lighting it up on any given night. Kevin, from the moment he stepped Morning into the now. NBA league, this guy has been a proven scorer. He's got a ton of flair to his game. He's probably best used in that six-man role, though he has put up very good numbers as a starter. I just like his change of pace when he comes off the bench. And Philadelphia calls time here. Andre Drummond's checked in for Joel Embiid. And then for Los Angeles. Hamid Baba, he's checked in for Zubox. Mann comes in for Nicholas Batum. And it's done in for Jones. Pass to George. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Oubre, a screen on power. The 76ers with another miss. Los Angeles trails by four. Porter passes to Mann. Drops in the layup for two. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Philadelphia's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Here's George. Buries it from about 10 feet away. George has got nine. How about the triple drive ability of Paul George? The quick handles for a guy his size. Porter against Drummond. 
Again, the Clippers. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. On D, George. And it's George again missing. L.A. has gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Five a set in the pick for Porter. Kicks it to Powell for the lead. Rebound by the 76ers. Martin's got four rebounds in this game. Down against low. Passes it to George. And the pass to Drummond. Shot clock at five. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Fires the three. And Paul George gets the three. Paul George has got five points now this quarter. Boy, you love to see this level of awareness from a big like Drummond. How about that feed to his teammate? Now Powell. Bamba a screen on George. Powell for three. He can't hit that time. A big time effort for Joel Embiid. Providing a lot of energy for the 76ers. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. Right back after this break. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. You know a thing or two about a point guard's job. Set the table for your teammates. Done there perfectly. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ballgame. The 76ers leading by five, taking a look at Los Angeles. Harden out there with Porter. And there's Mohamed Bamba. And it's Coffey in at the four-man position. Outside Lowry. He locks up the alley -oop pass and finished off by Martin. Kyle Lowry has spent his entire career finding open teammates. Porter kicks to Harden. It's stolen by Lowry. And oh, here we go. Lowry's got the fast break chance. And the dunk by Jackson. And there is no better way to add to the lead. Isn't that true, GA? Especially when the slam is coming from the point guard. That's got to be a little bit deflating to the defense, guys. Getting kicked when you're down. My goodness. Here's Harden. Good. And a nice assist from Porter. The assist. Porter's got Porter. three assists in the game. And so Lowry will bring it up for Philadelphia. They've held a 12-point lead early. A three. And Bamba pulls it down. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Porter outside. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. And those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you ballgame. Drummond dishes to Lowry. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And here's Harden for three. Rebound Andre Drummond. Drummond's got rebound number eight now on the night. Jackson deciding where to go with it. Feeds to Drummond. Seven-foot shot. Uses the glass that time, and it's good. And the 76ers lead by six. That's their third straight make off an assist. Harden sets the pick for Porter. Harden outside. Drills it from outside. Harden's got five points now this quarter. And that's his second triple of the half. None for him going into the break. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Lowry finds Drummond. Over Harden. And Bamba pulls it down. 
Mamba's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Coffey, guarded by Jackson. Here's the screen. Coffey can't get it to go. Philadelphia leading by three. Pass to Martin. Back to Lowry. Jackson against Bamba. Lock at six. Fires for three, and that's good. Reggie Jackson for three. If Jackson finds a shot at the arc, look out. This guy has become very consistent from out there. Lowry against Harden. Bamba a screen on Lowry. The kick out to Porter. There's the triple, and again, Los Angeles with the triple. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. And the 76ers call time here. will make substitutions. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Olin. David? Hey guys, during the last time out, I listened to Nick Nurse talk to his team. Now with the game in the balance, he had some encouraging words for his team. He said, this is what we wanted. We thought if we kept it close, we could pull it out. Now let's go out there and do just that. Back to you guys. Thanks, David. Embiid with a screen on Batum. Pass to Embiid. Right through the cylinder that time. All net. Embiid's got 13 points in the second half. Harden against Maxi. Porter passes to Batum. Kicks it out to Harden. Back to Batum. Five on the clock. Zubat's a screen on Ubre. Porter. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Free throw good. Porter. And one of those guys who fell in the draft the year he came out due to injury. Porter healed up and has taken the lead by Storm. Paul George, he's checked in for Philadelphia. My goodness. Say, say that. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. Los Angeles trails by six. Harden kicks to Batum. Outside, Jones. Embiid against Zubats. Zubats with the screen for Harden. And that one is good from Zubats. And he's now got the double-double. 11 points and 11 rebounds. Maxi against Harden. Maxi passes to Uber. Launches it. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And Batum kicks to Harden. Outside Porter. Harden with a screen on Uber. There's Porter with the three. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Embiid's got eight rebounds in this game. Porter with the steal. Pass to Batum. Now Zubats. He's covered by Maxi. The pass to Harden from outside the arc. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Outside, Maxi. Pass to Embiid. Shot clock at six. Shoots over Batum. Embiid, no good. Los Angeles trails by four. 
Harden left side. And the jump by Zubac. Well, Zubac's always around the rim. You love the quick strike there. And so it's Maxi with it. He brings it up for Philadelphia. Embiid sets the pick for Maxi. There's the three. Connects from three-point range. Maxi's got 21. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. And it is a major disadvantage down the stretch if you can't guard. This may just come down to who has the ball last. Los Angeles calls timeout. And Philadelphia making a change here. Martin's checked in. Mann's checked in for the Clippers. Los Angeles trails by five. Harden with a screen on Oubre. Harden outside. Fires the three. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Embiid finds Maxi. Martin with it. Six on the shot clock. Embiid sets the pick for Oubre. Harden grabs the miss. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. Pass to man. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got five assists tonight. There's a reason James Harden is always near the top of the assist charts. That ability to distribute to teammates is elite. Embiid with a screen on Jones. George, that's a two-pointer, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Caleb Martin. And that'll be his third foul so far. First team foul. For Los Angeles, they've gotten more than 58% of their attempts to go down for them in the fourth quarter. They're 7 of 12. Two minutes remaining in the game. Passes it to Zubac. Outside, Jones. Batum with the three. It's hauled in by George. George has got rebound number five here tonight to the paint. Here's Maxi. Yes, and the foul. It's going to be on James Harden. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. You guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the 76ers? Guys, the D hasn't had an answer for the three-point shooting, which is why they continue to just fire away from D. And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. Harden against Maxi. Harden, no good. Philadelphia leading by five. Maxi passes to Martin. Outside, George. Back to Martin. Over by two. And there's Martin. That's good on the assist by George. We've got 108 left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Harden. Maxi grabs the miss. Philadelphia's gone two or five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Two here. That's his fourth personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your Sixers, Tyrese Maxey. Two shots. He drops the first one, and that stretches their lead to eight. Second one is good. We both at the line. It's a nine-point ball game. Well, you love a guy who gets himself to the line, takes his time, and makes the free throws. Complete professional. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're trailing by nine. There's 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter.
There's 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Harden, that's good. Well, if you need a bucket, there's no guy you probably want more than James Harden doing his thing. Ball on the string, you need to score it, no problem. So they foul intentional. He makes a That's his fifth personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for Philadelphia, Tyrese Matthews. Two shots. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And he ends up making the second, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And it's Harden with the ball for Los Angeles. Well, a smart play by James Harden. Gets his advantage to draw the contact. He's made a living at the free-throw line, guys. Second team foul. Shooting for the away team, James He hits the first one, and that turns the lead to six. Both free throws good for James Harden. When you have one of the great scores in the history of the game, as you do with James Harden, obviously you want the ball to his hands as much as possible. Fourth team foul. At the line for two. Kelly Oubre Jr. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. Kelly Oubre Jr. entered this league as a dynamic athlete, excellent in the open floor, but give this young man credit. He's worked hard to develop the perimeter game that's absolutely critical to success. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're behind by seven. 27 seconds left to play in the final quarter. to Harden. The pass to Mann from the arc. It drops. Terrence and Mann. now they trail by just four. And they need to stop the clock so there's a foul. Yeah, you, you can't let him hold the ball and just milk those five seconds away. 15 foul. At the line for your six. So the first one drops and that puts them up by five. And he is unable to get the second one. Harden against Oubre. Harden, no good. And he's a good shooter from outside. I'm not sure from that deep. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. Two shots. And he does get the second one. And that increases their lead to six. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter. And Harden launches it from deep. Can't get it to fall. So Philadelphia wins it. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans. But in the end, everyone's satisfied. Yeah, I mean, there were some times that, that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on. But let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to it to miss in terms of finishing out and executing sure that game plan. We can't a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Joel, in the past, you've had some critics, and you haven't run away from that. So what are you looking to prove out there? Uh, just being dominant, so I want every time people hear my name, I want them to know that I'm a dominant player. That was certainly the case tonight, man. Congratulations. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Tyrese Maxey.